Here's an example of a spun prop hub. The rubber is uh, gripping enough where it'll propel me. I'm moving a couple of knots and I can slowly increase it and then you'll hear the motor rev out once it spins. And you can tell when it revs up and you just stop basically that's that prop breaking loose from that rubber hub and it just starts spinning i can also tell right away because if i do a quick acceleration it breaks that off really quickly so this is a little faster so it just slips and then that's the end of it fortunately i could find that sweet spot right at that borderline and I could idle around pretty good I don't know three knots maybe so I could still get around with it and it works okay it's just I gotta know exactly where that break off point is and I just can't go past that another way to test if your prop hub is spun leave it in gear and then just turn the prop if it spins well that's catching there Let's see if we can get a spot here, the compression side. And if you could turn it, as you can see the prop is turning, but the nut is staying still, that's because that rubber is given way and it is toast. So basically, as you put torque to this in the, in the water, uh, this will end up getting to a point and then start free spinning. And that's where you lose power or you lose propulsion. So that's how you know that that hub is gone and it needs to be swapped out. Hey everybody, how we doing today? So welcome to Props 101. Uh, basically, I have two Suzuki 2.5 horsepower outboard motors. One is an older 2010 and one is a newer 2018. Uh, and I blew up both of their props in one week. <laughs> so I figured it'd be a good time to do a little prop video. Uh, basically, as you can see by this one, this one got really destroyed. Uh, but this one is my older one. It uses a shear pin style safety device. The way that works is if there's an impact on your prop hitting bottom, structure, whatever, uh, it'll break off that shear pin and it'll allow the prop to free spin, thereby saving your lower end, which is very expensive, those gears and bushings and all that stuff inside there. And uh, that's how that system works. Then my newer model, it uses what's called a basically a hub. Uh, it uses a pressed in rubber bushing that fits inside there um, and normally it works fine it grips onto the side of the prop and it spins normally when you impact bottom or structure uh, that rubber will absorb some of that shock and prevent any damage to the lower end again or if you do it hard enough or continually over a longer period of time that rubber hub will actually slip and break free of the outer prop housing and it'll basically freeze spin at that moment. Uh, it'll have some friction so you can still kind of limp home really slowly but in general as soon as you start revving it up it just free spins and you're not going to go anywhere. So uh, I've got to replace these both so I figured I'd do a quick little video showing the uh, how I destroyed mine, uh, how to replace them, general maintenance and so forth. So that's the plan. All right, let's start on the older motor first. Uh, basically, there was nothing wrong with the prop originally. I had just got some fishing line wrapped around the shaft and I wanted to get that out, couldn't get it out by itself, so I had to pull the prop off. Then when I tried pulling on it, it was stuck and I knew what the problem was because it happened before. Uh, on the inside, the basically the shear pin, which would go normally straight through there, is all bent around it and the reason why is this is my original pot prop and you can see how gouged out it is uh, basically there's no longer any sharp edges that will shear that off cleanly and so those uh, spacings allowed this to get wrapped under there and basically just fused it together so it was wedged in there hard enough I couldn't get it off uh, you can see on the new props how tight those clearances are so if you smack it it'll just shear off this uh, brass which is a soft metal there uh, the reason why this got damaged so bad is in order to get this off 
The last time I had to do it, I just hammered these wings and then after 15 minutes of hammering it, it finally popped off. This time it wouldn't work, so I had to uh, basically mount the uh, lower end to the back of my trailer and then I wrap the, uh, the winch line around the prop and use my uh, winch to crank down on it super hard to the point where I was afraid this was gonna pop off, kick back and kill me. So I got as tight as I thought I could and then I started hammering it. It broke off one of the wings. I said, screw it, broke off the second wing and then on the third one, it finally, boom, shot off there. And uh, there, that's what I'm stuck with. Uh, these props, new are about 90 bucks if you get the OEMs, but uh, I got these cheaper Chinese ones for like 25 bucks when they're just foreign metal, so it's not that big a deal. However, the bigger problem was, is I didn't notice this until later, but if you look at that shaft, you can see it's bent. There's so much force. This is a solid stainless steel, uh, rod here it's only like four or five inches and it bent it i was putting so much force to get that prop off uh fortunately i have a spare mid and lower end i bought used so i'm just going to swap that out with this one these shafts go for 130 dollars just for the shaft uh, you want to be careful about, about damaging these lower ends just the two gears in there are about 180 bucks Plus with all the bushings, O-rings, and all, all the little fitting, the, the clutch dog and so forth. This is about four to $500 right here on the inside of this. So you gotta be very careful about it, not like me. So I'm gonna uh, replace this first and then uh, put on the new prop. Pretty easy swap out. Just gonna take these two bolts out and then this whole unit right here, you can use a screwdriver to pull it out and then it just slides right out. those two bolts out. I'm just gonna use this little pry hole and that'll pull that out there. Don't lose your pin there. That's for the clutch dog. And there we go. That's all it is. Bent that shaft, that's crazy. All right, there you go. This is the newer replacement. And this is the older one there. So we're just gonna swap those out. Hopefully they're the exact same, looks like it. Pretty close at least. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. All right, we placed the uh, lower end shaft there, so that's on there, that's good. Make sure you put this little bushing on there. It's a little spacer. That. Our shear pin. some oil on it so it sticks in there there line it up with the slot okay so it fits in there nicely then we just run our shear pin right inside there sometimes it'll go in go 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 and then we just got to bend it up. And there we go. So that prop is done. And don't forget to put your lower unit gear oil in if you had to do what I did. So this guy is ready to go. So ready for some testing. Now for the newer motor, uh, basically we just need to do a props uh, trade off. Changing the prop on the new ones, fairly straightforward. We're going to take the cotter pin out. We're gonna use a board to lock in the prop so it can't turn. And then we're just gonna break this nut loose and then unscrew it. And then the prop just comes right off. Put the new one on, tighten it back up, pin back in. And that's all we need to do. All right, gotta straighten this cotter pin out. And push it in. There we go. Pins out, now we need a board. Oh, this is already loose. All right, that'll make it easier. Go. 
go. And that just comes right off. And you can kind of see that it's bubbled up right there where it's spun. All right. I'll put a little grease on here and we'll be good to go. All right, we're just gonna put a little grease on. There we go, a little dabble do ya. Spacers in there. Prop goes on. There it goes. And that goes on. And we just need to snug that down. Okay, just need it snug on there. Find the hole. And I'm gonna have to tap this guy in there. All right, bend it over. And there we go. And that's all we have to do. Spin that off. And we are set. All right, there you go. That is two different styles of prop repair. Uh, hopefully they work out well with these uh, Chinese replacements. You gotta remember OEM, Suzuki, $80 for the old style, $120 for the new style. So we'll have to see how it goes. I'm not too concerned about the uh, older version since it's just a solid piece of aluminum no moving parts but i want to see how long that hub lasts on the newer style uh, to see if it uh, lasts for a while if it does then i'll buy a couple of them at 25 bucks can't beat that and uh, we'll go from there uh, but that also is the reason why i have two outboards uh, the older style with the shear pin uh, i run in my offshore i mean my inshore backcountry flats where there's a lot of chance that I'm going to hit bottom in places. So uh, having that shear pin just break off, it's no big deal. It takes two minutes, put the pin back in, and then we're good to go. Uh, so quick and easy. Um, and then I try to leave my uh, newer motor just strictly for the offshore runs, where I know I don't have to worry about uh, any issues with the prop. So that's kind of the reason for that. But uh, anyways, hopefully you found that uh, helpful, and uh, thanks for watching. And I also want to give a big shout out to my Patreon supporters. That's where that money's going. Stuff is always breaking. Two at a time. <laughs> All right. Bye.